Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I just got in a lot of packages, and I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. So, without further ado, let's jump in. So, in my last video, uh, or my last M17 unboxing, I mentioned how expensive that these things are getting. Um, so, I found these two for $30 a piece um, on eBay, and I bought them. Now this one I was hoping it was going to be the A2, but it's actually the A1, and then this one is just the regular M17, which I knew and wanted for that. I thought that this one was going to be the dirty one, but this one is really bad. Um, so what I've done to find these M17s so cheap is... I've managed to buy replacement parts for them, like XL valve covers, XL valves, the filter intake covers, um, all the really hard parts to find for these. And I got as vague as just searching gas mask on eBay, and I searched for hours, and I managed to find a few um, that I, I really am happy with. Um, because people are so ridiculous now um, I saw an M17 with outserts in a bag so basically like the most basic it had filters too in the the air intakes but it was the most basic kit ever no and it was just the M17 it wasn't a Firestone M17 or um, the DT brand I forgot what company that was that made M17s for a short while. So it was just a, a common M17, and at auction, it sold for $122. So pretty much that's the general price on eBay, which I know some people say, oh, well, that's your problem is you're looking on eBay, but M17 series masks are the exception here. It seems like everywhere on the internet is asking really high prices. Um, there's a few asking for $50, but that's just the mask with the filters in the bag, but no hood, no outserts, no anything. Um, but yeah, so the prices for these things are getting ridiculous. So here's the two that I got in the mail. There's the M17 missing the outserts, head harness, uh, XL valve, XL valve cover. It does have the black ring filters. So the original filters probably made with the mask. And it is an a MSA from 1965. And then this one is a MSA from 1970. So it is the A1. It's got gold or uh, green ring filters, except looks like this one has had a lot of moisture inside the filter, so those will need to be thrown out. And then there's this crusty stuff all over the mask. The XL valve uh, is missing, the XL valve cover is missing, the drinking tube is missing, and there's duct tape on this. We look on the other side of the mask and the buckles are attached to the head harness, not the actual mask. So I don't know... It's like this gas mask was left outside for a long time. Um, it does have some dry rot, which I am slightly worried about. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one, depending on how bad that is. And then here's the inside. Now, like I said, either this was left outside for a long time, or my other theory, which it's hard because this almost looks like like mold spots from moisture, but it also looks like somebody may have vomited in the mask. Um, which, if that's the case, then this is probably one of, that they used at basic training, which would make sense. It did come with a single uh, inlet valve. The rubber's missing. I do have re replacement rubber uh, discs coming, but it's, I mean, I think I might just toss this one. I have the entire disc assembly coming, multiple sets of those, so I'm not too worried. It did come with its own outserts, which are very scratched. Uh, 
I might just throw these away. I don't know. It depends on how well this one cleans up. But I do have brand new ones from 1991 here. So what's going to happen for this one is I'm going to pull the head harness off, um, take out the filters, throw those away because they for sure have mold in them. Um, and then I'm going to completely submerge this gas mask and hand wash it. Uh, and then, like I said, depending on how it looks, I may resell it. I'll get it, the parts, I, well, the parts that I have coming for it, like the, the XL valve, the tube, the cover, the filters, the filter intake valves, and a head harness, and a bag. Um, it'll, it'll be presentable, but it, it won't be like the best one out there. Um, but, uh, so that's enough for the M17s. There's more video, or I'm going to include this into one video maybe. I also got this one, which is unusual for a couple of reasons, but I'll get into it on another video. And then I also got my chocolate chip Bianchi holsters. These two are Bianchi. This one is a, a Spanish copy. And then I got my two six color Bianchi um, ammo pouches. So this one is for the Breda M9 with the plastic snap. This one is for the 1911 with the metal snap. This one shows signs of use. Both holsters appear to be completely brand new. And I also got three matching chocolate chip camo Bianchi belts. Duty belts. So anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up. More videos to come, more info to come on these. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, have a nice day.